Here we go. James, would you please stand up? Last night, you said closer to the edge as you're now saw. The judges were feeling it. Jennifer said, you're ready for stadiums. Steven thought you kicked the song's ass. <coughs> then you did without you. The judges loved it. Let's see what Jimmy Iovine had to say about it. Watch this. James thought it would close it to the edge, which was a great rock song going to do to show his potential for the future and where he can go as an artist. Let me hear you scream! On Harry Nielsen's Without You, he was overcome by emotion. And his voice closed down. And that hurt him. James is a really good performer, but to become a great performer, in the end, you have to be able to really control your emotions. James has been going back and forth between a 9 and 10 for me over the last five weeks. I felt last night was an 8. To the nationwide vote, would you go start a group on the far side of the stage? Good luck, James. And now, Lauren, would you stand up? She did flat on the floor. The judges thought you rose to the occasion. Then you switched gears and did Unchained Melody. Jennifer and Steven loved it. Randy said you sang like a bird. But what did Jimmy Iovine think? Here we go. My overall thought of Lauren last night was flat on the floor. She did great. In Unchained Melody, she pulled back on the biggest note in the song. was her fear overcame her performance. That is her Achilles heel. It will keep her out of the final if it continues. Me. I believe because of Lauren's performance on Chain Melody last night, she will be in the bottom two tonight. To the nationwide vote, Lauren, would you stand here on the near side of the stage? All right, take a look. So far, everyone's fate is still in question. We've got James on one side of the stage and Lauren on the other side. What does it all mean? Find out if your favorite survives right after Jennifer Lopez heats up this stage next. 